Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Ignite Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Ignite are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. When Roundup Ready Soybeans came out about 15 years ago, that was the first herbicide tolerant trait for crops. And so we wanted to talk a little bit today about why these herbicide tolerant traits come out and what's the next thing? What's going to come here in another two or three years? You know what, Brian? We're standing in a field that was Roundup Ready Soybeans yep. this year. And let me tell you, when you're using Roundup out in fields, you're using way less chemicals than we've ever used before. Yep. In the past, when we had conventional soybeans or non-herbicide tolerant soybeans, we had to use a lot more pesticides in that field every year. So that's been one of the great things since Roundup Ready crops have come out. The number of herbicides that are being used, the number of pesticide products has gone way, way, way down. Now that's all because Roundup was controlling pretty much every weed that we had in the field. Now there are a few weeds that are escaping Roundup and just like anything in nature, once you start doing things one way, then nature's going to find a way around it. And there are some weeds that are getting tougher to control. Yeah, and the whole thing is if a farmer has weed problems, it dramatically hurts yield. So what we're saying is the introduction of Roundup Ready soybeans basically meant less total pesticides were used in the United States and more total food production was out there. We were able to raise more soybeans and while soybeans traditionally aren't directly eaten by human beings. Oh, there's uh, a lot of soy foods, Brian. Yep, but the majority of the soybean crop goes into livestock feed or oil or other uses. But the point is there was more overall produced and we were able as farmers to use less pesticides. So that was a good thing. So let's talk a little about what's coming here down the road. What's next? Well, there are a lot of new traits out there. Now, you may look at Roundup Ready crops where you can spray Roundup or Liberty Link crops where you can spray Ignite. They've been out for a long time. But there are a couple new ones coming that look to be fairly exciting. There's dicamba tolerant soybeans and there's 2,4-D tolerant corn and soybeans. So you've probably heard of 2,4-D before but you haven't heard of dicamba before. Dicamba would be Banville, Clarity, those types oh, of products. Oh, it's more than it's, that, it's Brian. It's probably years. in your garage. If you spray your own yard, you may have some dicamba right out in your garage. Like Trimec, for example, some formulations of Trimec contain some dicamba. Well, it's one excellent. of the components of it. Yeah, yeah, it's excellent on controlling weeds in your lawn, and it does the same thing out in fields. It controls tough broadleaf weeds, and these seem to be the ones that Roundup is having more trouble But with. here's the whole thing. With both the dicamba and the 2,4-D today, they'll kill soybeans. I mean, even a whiff a lot of times will kill a soybean plant. So that's not a good thing in soybeans, but we know that the weed problems we're having in Roundup Ready soybeans could be easily controlled by dicamba or 2,4-D. So for the last many years, the development of 2,4-D and dicamba tolerant soybeans has been going on. You want to explain that a little bit? Well, like the dicamba tolerant soybeans, for example, they were first discovered uh, basically a soil bacteria that produces an enzyme that breaks down dicamba was discovered by a researcher at the University of Nebraska in Lincoln. And University of Nebraska is not in the seed business, so they marketed this trade and sold it to Monsanto, who's breeding it into soybeans right now. Hopefully it'll be released in the next few years, pending regulatory approval in our country, as well as other countries like China, who imports a lot of our soybeans. Those soybean plants that are dicamba tolerant are breaking that dicamba down in about six hours into a a compound that's not herbicidally active anymore. So the plant can metabolize that, so to speak, and break down the dicamba and you can use it safely for weed control in your crops. And again, the best part is with the dicamba or the 2,4-D, whichever comes out, whichever gets used, it's all, we're only talking two or three years away and there will be dicamba tolerant soybeans and 2,4-D tolerant soybeans. We'll be able to control most all of those Roundup resistant weeds. They'll be done. So that's a great thing. Again, we'll be able to get higher yields and right now, now, there are many farmers around the country who are using six different herbicides to try to accomplish the same thing we'll be able to accomplish with just Roundup and 2,4-D or just Roundup and Dicamba in just a few years. Well, those are exciting, Brian, but will they control our Weed of the Week? We'll show you coming up later in the show.